Okay. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Ma, yesterday when you were made to do the entire exercise of uh, the three statements on the root pattern, mm. uh, we were told to look into the mirror and do it. Mm. Uh, I don't know actually by looking at the mirror, I like the blueprint, the print of your life from where the space which causes, which is the causative realm from which your whole life comes out, which is there for you very much active, it's there. But you don't know and you don't even know that you don't even know. Very, very unfortunate. You, you understand what I am saying and very dangerous. That is why human beings are dangerously dying. They are dangerously going to dogs, not normally. Very dangerously, very unfortunately. What is happening each day mm -hmm. in the program is bit by bit by bit of something is being revealed. What is, what is being revealed in the program? Not what you know that you know. Not what you know that you don't know, but that which you don't know and you don't know that you don't know. You getting what I am saying? Recently when in the gym, when the, it, the, the point was brought up uh, that I didn't go, right? And I, I, when I looked back, why is this happening? Why is there a hangover of jumping and springing out of the bed, which is there for me all the day actually, only that moment, only that few minutes in the morning, I will not jump out with equal um, energy. I really subtly, when I looked, I could catch that. Why even that five minutes, I was as shocked and astonished that it went back to a situation when I was just like a five-year-old. You know, I was li living, we were living in Bangalore and it had to do with a situation, an incident which happened at that time. But what I got that day process, when I got that, why is it that I am not able to jump the bed like that and I saw that was probably something to do with this. I looked back and obviously I saw it was that day I just hated whatever was that. I don't know what it can be called, mixture of hatred, mixture of anger and uh, silently I was crying which, uh, you know, I didn't even feel like voicing it. It was pent up. I was choked. I was so hurt, you know, that, oh God, I mean, life is so horrible I just don't want to live it's so horrible and I am forced to live when I'm dragged out of the bed because it's a survival you won't have water if not you know I know what will happen if that happens so you know that day I remember till that day I know I always jumped out of the bed always jumped out of the bed and though, even before that many times we got up at 2.15 for the water always I'll spring up jump I'll be the first by the way I'll sit under the tap and be looking at the tap by uh, you know much before 3 o'clock that habit was there and I used to be very happy and nothing burden about it but that when it happened, you know, that day was the first time I remembered I dragged my feet from under the bed sheet and put my foot down on the floor and I just hated the touch of that floor that day. And after that I remember I hated every single time I touched life which was like touching the floor first time when I get up and I don't even know because it's in a domain where I don't know and I don't know that I don't know. I always thought, never thought about it actually. The first touch on that floor that day gave me a strong repulsion to living. I, why do I need to live? I am forced to live. That resistance to live life was what comes up even here. And what was, was incomplete actually, as an incompletion which stayed with me for, for so many years, like five to now. Um, 38 like it's like such a long time you get what I'm saying yes, so I don't know where we started but we ended here <laughs> but anyway once that completion got over ah, it came up with the space so the space that opens up inside you so what happened that day was a deeper level of my own blueprint got exposed to me a deeper subtler impression very very small subtle impression sitting in my bio memory still just got exposed it's like there's a small pus cell somewhere and suddenly it's naked, it's just exposed. So obviously now I'll remove the pus and there's nothing there now. And I tell you, there's such a marked difference in the past two weeks in the way I'm able to touch the ground. I'm re I really mean it. You know, when I'm getting up now, I, I'm feeling so the same joy, joy, which was the question with which I began that whole completion process. Why am I not jumping from the bed? Why am I doing it? Because, oh, this is Guru Vak, I have to do it. Why is Guru Vak a punishment for me when it comes to getting up at that uh, 3.45? Because it's not, it's new. All my life, almost I got up at 2.45. I told you, not this thing. 
you know, this thing would be like water thing, then it would be something else. There used to be another phase in life and the milkman will come to pour the milk. Those days they'll come home and pour the milk. And he will come at one in the night only, always. I don't know, our house will be the last house. That you have to boil the milk in the night because otherwise in the morning you won't have time, all these things. So, but all those moments are so connected. Just with that one experience and cognition, my resistance to life, that, oh God, it's a pain to connect back with life. Why at all? Why, just, why, why don't I just get off it? Why not get liberated from it? You know, that was there. Now, of course, it's not there. Are you getting it? So what exposes itself? Each time, a more subtler level of your own impressions, your own bio-memory, which is there in you, running your life, gets opened up for you. And you will be shocked, the same situation you are seeing, you will see that it's actually something new, something totally new is happening there. And you didn't even know it, because you never knew that you knew, that, that you didn't know and you didn't know it. And now it has come to, oh, I know, I know domain. And you've expanded so much with that, because especially it's an unconscious part revealing itself to you. So I will ask you not to go with the judgment of what happened yesterday, not even yesterday, half an hour back if you sat in front of a mirror, it's not the same half an hour now. It's not. Trust me when I say this. So sit and do the process. Now if there is a block coming up, mm. look in. Why am I resisting looking into the mirror? Look in. That's something there for you to get, number one. Number two, somewhere initially if you want to close your eyes and see, close your eyes and see. If you want to say, okay, I'll write down, it'll come, write down, it'll come. Do it. Slowly, slowly you will see there won't be resistance to anything. Almost anywhere, everywhere you can do it. You get it? So when Swamiji says, look at the wall and you see your incomplete self, you look at the wall, you'll see your incomplete self. That's Just probably because towards the end we would reach that There's stage. no end, there's no beginning, there's now. <laughs> you never know when it will come. Yeah, so it will just come when it comes. And ma, another thing, uh, though I told I couldn't recollect the incident, but the emotion of powerlessness I'm able to feel like I don't know. Yeah, the we'll, uh, when I explain somehow. the process, you'll get uh, oh. how to do it. So, so don't bother. Okay. I'll cover this in that. Yeah. Hmm? Thank you, ma. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Okay, did everybody get the conversation I had just now? Please raise your hand if you're getting what I'm sharing. So don't think, oh, it's the same incident, oh, it's the same wife, oh, it's the same mother. No, it is not. Because you have not, at, at most part, we have never connected with life in its totality. So always there is a wonder left in life in everything that is happening. Only thing we should know is that there's always this realm where I don't know. If I think I know this, I have done this, I have done that, I have done it all. That's the biggest hindrance that can happen to us. All you need to get into is, oh God, I don't know. And probably I don't even know that I don't know. It's there. I just got to figure it out. I just got to bring it up. Clear? Yes. Uh, Nityananda Ma. Nityananda. And uh, yesterday you asked us to uh, get all the three statements. Mm. I obtained the three statements out of four or five incidents. So you want me to complete all the four or five incidents or the very first incident which I, you know, recollected? I will speak about that. When I start telling you about the process, I will tell about this. And one more thing, I have never spe uh, spoken uh, before uh, these many people. Uh, it extends only to 40 or 50 I can speak. That too with shivering hands and legs. But uh, mm -hmm. stage fear, that term is out of my life now actually. Mm -hmm. And uh, one more question. Uh, I was speaking to my roommates yesterday that I want to complete uh, one incident with my friend. Mm. Uh, but I, I have that fear that uh, people, you know, uh, I'm sorry I spoke to you like that on that day. Mm. I'm sorry for it. Mm. Even if I just say this, why do you bring all that now? Can't mm. you forget it? At just just at that moment. Mm. So, if I want to complete it now with her, mm. I fear that she will not even, you know, uh, uh, just, just have a minute to a patient hearing, you know. Mm. She will not. The is you are uh, far away, you're far ahead you have gone, no need to go there yet. We are okay. still in, the, in class 1. You are okay. doing class 10 syllabus. Okay. You personally are doing move to completion process which is Purnatva Kriya. Are you here for 21 days? Yeah. Oh, thank God. Mm -hmm. Then you will be learning in detail what is it that can actually is the only access for you to have any reality of your life, which always depends upon other human beings. That is what you will get by the end of 21 days. I am glad you are here for 21 days, so st stay there and go step by step. Don't call your friends yet. Okay. Was there instructions in class to call? There wasn't. So don't call your friends. Wait and do what is okay. being told. 
eventually you'll get there and you'll see it'll not be like how it is now thank you ma'am thank you yes i have couple of questions first yes. is about hereditary can i get some pattern or something from my father or mother or family chain um by hereditary you're saying uh, they can be like um a reason for you to think that the pattern has come because of them but the cause is always inside you so you won't get it the cause is always something which stems from within the reason can be anything the reason can be mother or father or brother or the reason can even be a dog on a street we have people here who have patterns related with dogs and she's not listening she's busy but anyway so the <laughs> there is not dogs actually dog is still uh, living entity there <laughs> we have done patterns with people where ghost is there um, so many things are there actually you know non existing things are there like that you understand so the reason can be anything but the cause is only and only what's happening within you only a cognition that generates inside you as a response mechanism to what's happening outside or to what you perceive as what's happening outside you get that oh okay yeah then and, other question and the second question is uh, um uh, regarding my mamakara mm. i have three incidents before the age of 7 uh i can <coughs> what i can see is uh, i was hurt on in the all the three incidents mm. but i'm not getting a swani kara statement i'm i'm just feeling pain from that state like from the all the three situations mm. i don't know what is my base uh, first statement which i made but i know the pain and i can relate it till now what i'm doing i'm this this action again comes from there correct so when you say i experienced pain that's what happened inside you correct mm. then what did you think of the other of situation there is what you might want to ask to get swanya kara uh, i i can't like i don't think so i made a mistake so tell me one situation um what else is ah uh, this was when i was in child care crutch we call it in delhi right like, um, we call it here also crutch okay. yeah <laughs> uh what what happened was uh, day care mm. day care yeah mm. and uh, my parents were working obviously my grandmother was at home i wanted to really live in home like mm. with my grandmother i i want to spend time at home but they mm. left me in the crutch mm. and uh, one one day what I, what happened was uh, i just sneaked out mm. i ran away without telling anyone came mm. back home and asked my grandmother to lock the doors and i was just i locked my bedroom like bedroom i think i don't know what room it is mm. i locked it um i put the blanket over me and i was i knew that she is going to come the lady punjabi lady she is going to come <laughs> how old were you how old were you uh it's before 7 but i don't know exactly my okay. age and uh she came and knocked the door my fortunately my grandmother didn't know hindi so mm. when she she somehow conveyed the message and mm. uh, i was she pulled me out mm. and she dragged me i was naked and she just pulled me and she was dragging me i felt powerless i know that i felt powerless mm. and uh, i felt the i can feel the pain still now mm. but i don't know what i said at that time okay. that's the first incident uh, it's not something you would have said actually you know many a time many a times you would say as well but it's more about it, it's either something which you said or something which you thought or something which uh, was there which you could sense you know as a, as a feeling as a sense as um, an emotion Uh, it's there something which is probably not even any of this but you know you know because you connect with life in a particular way in those moments so what did you think about her i get caught okay about her she is she is scary anything else no see yourself being dragged by her anything else was there that's 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 the place where i felt the pain but i didn't think anything about her like it was just i was caught and uh, i'm i've been taken away from my home mm. what was after that i can uh, what was the feeling you had about her can you feel her hand on you not yet so you got to get there where you can actually experience her touch experience her voice experience you know whatever she was at that time you have this habit of hiding yes or no yes either when it works physically or you know what i'm saying many times you just hide 
just ignore as absolutely you just disappear you're pretending as if you're there you're never there because you just hide you just can't confront isn't it yeah and something else was there a threat from her for you that's a threat no that's why you went and hid yes she, or no yeah she she scolded me no before you were caught yeah it was a threat yeah so she is someone who threatens you is someone who terrifies like correct is who life for you is terrifying dangerous yes or no yes on one one on that particular incident that and many other similar string of incidents i'm not saying overall no. i'm only speaking about disempowering situations oh. every time you have a conflict this is what hits you it's something dangerous out there out to get me catch me isn't it are you seeing it yeah and each time you get that you hide get it yeah. how old are you 26 27 really yeah no oh. wish you could be that somewhere before 7 5 you were 5 at that time thing yeah. you're just a 5 year old that comes back each time it that such situation surfaces and such a situation surfaces in your life only because that 5 year old is there inside you yeah you understand what i'm waiting to be complete by the way it's an incomplete you it will continuously play the game which is paradoxical wanting to be complete which will never happen because you don't even know that there is such an incomplete half sitting inside you it's true yeah. it's like a ticking time bomb i'm carrying and i don't know about it but it's ticking 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 it's eating away my life bit by bit by bit by bit by bit are you getting what i'm saying yeah. so yeah. what is your swanya kara life is um, threatening It's threatening terrifying dangerous dangerous that is what it is but oh so when I, if i'm going to take like before sorry before 7 mm. like when i'm going to consider i'm going to consider all the three incidents what a, yes yeah thanks thank you